Welcome back. Welcome back to Regina Song Section 8. Good channel, baby. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Thank you to my thousand, I think, 85 subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. I want to talk about this fire that happened in these apartments where I raised my kids for 10 years. They actually changed the name of the apartments. I can't remember the name of them now. But there was a bad fire in the apartment yesterday. Just know that. Twelve units got burned out. Twelve families need somewhere to stay. And the thing about it is, there were no, there wasn't a working hydrant in the back where the apartments were burning. By the time the fire department got there, y'all, they had to go up the hill to get some water and then bring it down. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine 12 units getting burned? And I want y'all to keep in mind while I'm talking. This is a low income, based on income, apartment complex most of the people out there are based on income when i lived out there for 10 years i was based on income but i paid rent a lot of people pay rent because a lot of people work so they do pay rent um and i'm saying that to say this the only help that they gave them was 250 dollars per family $250 per family. And then let me tell you about some of the units. Some of the units weren't burnt, but it was so much water damage and smoke damage that they had to move out of their apartment too now. The management say that they're going to provide these people with an apartment, which is great. I commend them on doing it. And I thank God that they did have 12 units vacant so that these people can have at least a roof over their head now these people got to start all over because most of them didn't even have rental insurance now let's talk about that wherever you live these days it's a must that you have rental insurance as a matter of fact it's almost time for me to pay mine it's a must that you have rental insurance because anything can happen. You never know if there's going to be a fire. Let me tell you something about those apartments. I read up on the article from the news that the sprinkler system wasn't even working. And each apartment has a sprinkler system. They weren't working as well. Now, I feel some type of way about that because, first of all, most of the people that live in this apartment complex, let's say 99% of them are black. Let's look at the scenario of it. 99% of the people in the apartment complex that reside there are black. They are based on income apartments. Most people they pay little or no rent. The ones that work, they pay by their income. Okay, boom. There's no water in the fire hydrant in the back of the apartment complex where the fire was. Boom. Salvation Army, Army only gave these people $250. Each family, $250. Not each person in the family, $250. See, that would have made a difference. Because some of these people got four and five people in their family. Some of these people got three, four, five children. So that would have been a difference if they would have gave each member of the household $250. But they didn't do that. And then let me tell you something else. I have seen where well, there have been fires, maybe in other parts of the city or other parts of the county or different county, you know, or something like that. 
everybody that has a nonprofit organization, a lot of people with nonprofit organizations, you know, or uh, the government assistance people, they come out and they assist these people with what they need because you got to keep in mind during the fire a lot of people don't have safes and stuff because they aren't told to put their um identification or their important documents in a safe just in case of a fire or a fluid so if it's in a safe it's not going to burn and it's not going to get wet just know that and all of their documents get burned up so people come out to help them, give them free vouchers so they can go and get their birth certificates, social security cards, driver's license, ID, you know, uh, any kind of records that they need for the school. You know, some of them people just went school shopping and their kids ain't got no school clothes right now. So how they going to start that? You know what they're going to start that with. They don't even have old clothes to start that with. And most of the time when these things occur, people come out and help with stuff like that. They give out vouchers and stuff so these people can go to Walmart and Target and Family Dollar and places of that matter. So they can get their children what they need. They give them visa cards and all kind of stuff. See, that's why I don't understand what the hell going on. But I just thank God that nobody got hurt. I thank God that the management office stepped up and was able to offer these people another unit to live in. I thank God for that. You know, because they could have been another homeless person on the street, a homeless family. You got to keep in mind. If you are not well connected with certain people, you're not going to get any assistance. They're not going to give you resources. A lot of people don't even reach out. Now, let me tell you something about this situation right here. Let me tell you now. And I don't know if these people have contact with churches or they've been in the church or they've been volunteering in the community centers or you know, been helping out in their community at the schools, the after school programs, stuff like that. Let me tell you something about that. When you participate in stuff like that and things occur in your life that are life threatening situations, like a fire, it's a life threatening situation, baby. You out of luck if you don't have no resources or you don't have no family. And if you're involved in things of that matter, those people reach out to you and they help you. If you involved with the school, these people see you on the daily and they don't found out that your family had a fire, man, them folks should reach out to you and they finna help you in any way that they can. But y'all, y'all gotta keep that in mind, but y'all do not be participating in stuff. You know, getting to know people in these groups in communities and recreation centers and you know you send your kids off to this stuff but you don't get involved they like you don't go to the pta man you don't get involved so these people they really don't know you and then you just out the blue come and ask for some help no they're not gonna help you they don't even know you love they ain't never seen you as dead in their life they ain't never even heard your voice on the phone so that's another part of just being human being involved and what's going on around you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm hurt behind that because I know they got a lot of money out here. The government got a lot of money. They just skin away, whether y'all know it or not. Y'all better y'all be on these phones 24 7 And y'all don't be looking up the right shit. Y'all be on TikTok looking at all the dance. I got two in my two from the orange. But y'all be on TikTok looking at everybody dancing, which is fine. It's great entertainment. But TikTok got a whole lot going on where you can learn something. You can make something of yourself. You can buy something. You can sell something. You can grow something. You can grow yourself. You know, a whole lot of that going on. But y'all ain't into all of it. And that's what the problem is. 
But what I want to say is, if you got something to stay, make sure you got some um, rental insurance. If you own your home, most people that own their home, they already have homeowner's insurance. You know, if anything happened, like, like, just imagine. Okay, boom. 12 people units got burned or water damage to a point where they can't live there anymore. Just imagine all of them if they had lemonade rental insurance, which is less than $20 a month. Do you know they would have been set up in a hotel for like a week or two? Do you know they would have provided them whatever they put on their application? If they was going to get $10,000, $50,000 with the fine, they would have got that money within a couple of days. Some of the money you get within 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? That rental insurance can be for if somebody slip and fall at your house, if it's a fire, if it's a flood, if your appliances mess up. You know, that rental insurance cover a whole lot of shit. You could be going down these steps, my steps right now, and it's raining and slip and fall. My rental insurance is going to cover that. The rental insurance covers if you get hurt during the fire, they're going to pay for the medical expenses. They're going to pay for you to move. They, it's a lot that the rental insurance covers. And it ain't no simple $1,500, $3,000. It's something that you can work with where you can go get you somewhere else to stay and you can get a house full of furniture and you can start over. You might could even get a car with the uh, six months insurance. So with that being said, I just wanted to let y'all know to get some rental insurance. I see that one of my daughter's um, friend who she went to school with from elementary and graduated with in high school, her sister has started a GoFundMe because her apartment was one of the apartments that got burned down. So, I'm going to put the link in the description box if y'all want to, you know, give, you know. I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a go for me. I'm going to contribute myself. If you ain't got nothing but $2 to give, do you know what $2 could do? $2 could buy some toilet tissue. $2 could buy some toothpaste. $2 could buy some notebook paper. $2 can buy a pair of socks. So don't think it that you're giving a little. You, whatever you give, a dollar, it's going to help. Make sure you keep up with that rental insurance. Lemonade is the cheapest rental insurance that you can get right now that'll cover everything. Excuse me. And um, just be mindful about if this was to happen to you or your family, how would the city of the government respond to you? Just, all, just have all your ducks in a row, you know what I'm saying? And uh, have you some little emergency money put to the side, you know, just in case, cause we never know what tomorrow gonna bring us. There's so much going on inside of the square box that we live in, not the world, just the square box that we live in. We got to have our ducks in a row and we got to have some money put to the side. Get you some friends and family to depend on. And they can depend on you. And I bet. Who won't come back? I'm so excited about my first children's book. It's called A Blessing for Gorgeous. It's actually about a young girl in middle school who's very popular. Everyone loves gorgeous. Until the next year, a problem occurs. And a blessing saves the day.